But in the case of Assange, like, if you read, if, if you follow that case at all, and you sort of push a tiny bit, like, well, okay, what's his crime? You know, he spent four and a half years in the most, in the worst prison in the UK. What has he been charged with in the UK? Hmm, nothing. He has not been charged with a crime in Great Britain, period. And so why is he in jail? Well, because the US government is trying to indict him and the British government has agreed to hold him in a maximum security cell in isolation until that's resolved. Well, like, what is this? And then you find out that before he was charged with any crime in the United States, that Mike Pompeo, who is the director of the CIA, decided to kill him, to assassinate him before he'd been charged with a crime. And then you think to yourself, wait a second, are federal appointees in my country allowed to use my tax dollars to murder people who embarrass them? I don't think they're allowed to do that. In fact, I think that's a felony. But Mike Pompeo is not in jail. In fact, he's bombing around to the same donors that, you know, they all go to. And not just on the right, the right. But I mean, Nikki Haley's donors, but they're also Chuck Schumer's donors. And those people are all cool with that. that our government, using our money in our name, would murder a guy because he dared to embarrass them by uncovering actual crimes that they committed. And everyone knows this, and no one has a problem with it. And none of that is speculation. It's all been proven. And Mike Pompeo was confronted with the fact that he discussed at CIA as its director murdering Julian Assange. And his response was, anybody who leaked that information is guilty of a crime because you violated our classification laws. Really? What about the guy who was discussing on public property as a public official, murdering somebody using federal funds? That's not a crime? Are you freaking, like this is, it's too crazy for me. I can't deal with it. So once I started to learn more about that, I was like, I don't, I'm just going over there. And I, I love his wife, as Giselle is a wonderful, as I know, I'm sure you know her, but just really a, a smart and humane and just decent, good person. And it just bothered me so much that I literally just, and I didn't have a job. I was like, okay. I'm not doing anything, so it takes five hours to get there. I just flew over and went to see him, and it was worse than I imagined.